Hi, and welcome to another COVID-19 edition of Schley Teach. Today we're going to go over a question that might be on some of your minds as you are beginning to self-quarantine. The question is, why am I sore after sitting around all day? In this video, we're going to have four sections. The first is a short answer. The second will go a little bit more in depth on how muscles work. We'll talk about muscle movement and the different kinds. And then for extra credit, discuss the idea of lactic acid production. So the short answer is you're sore because your muscles are working. Even if you're sitting still, the muscles in your body contract to hold your position. And if you're moving to a self-quarantine situation and sitting in a new environment, your muscles are going to need some time to adjust. To understand this answer a little bit better, let's review the types of muscle that you have in your body. There are three basic types. The first is cardiac muscle that's found in your heart. The second is smooth muscle, and that lines most of your intestines. And the third, the kind that we are going to be focusing on in this video, is skeletal muscle. As you can see, the design of these types of muscle is a little bit different. Both cardiac and smooth muscle are controlled by your automatic nerve system, and skeletal muscle is controlled by your somatic nerve system, your voluntary nerve system. So the way they have the same components, but the way that they react to different stimuli um, varies. And skeletal muscle is the type that's important in these responses. So let's look a little bit closer at skeletal muscle. Here is a microfilament of skeletal muscle, and you can see there are two proteins that are in control of contracting this area. The first is called actin, it's this long skinny line, and the second is called myosin, and those are those thick bars in the middle. The area that we're looking at is called a sacomere, and when a muscle receives a signal to start to contract, myosin and actin basically climb along each other to contract a sacomere, and that can result in different uh, outcomes for your muscle. And we'll talk about those a little bit more in muscle movement. So let's go on to the next slide. There are basically three ways in which your muscles can move. You can have isotonic movements. Those are movements where the overall pressure on your muscle stays the same, um, but the muscle itself moves. So you can have concentric movements, which is this first picture here where your muscle is getting shorter, or you can have eccentric movements, this picture here where your muscle is getting longer. You can also have isometric movements, and this is the kind that we need to understand in order to answer the question of why your body gets sore when you are sitting still. Isometric movements have your muscles working just to stay still. So you can see in this picture, this muscle is working. It's contracting on the level of its sacomeres, but it's not actually moving. And that's because sacomeres can contract and not affect enough of the exterior components of muscle tissue to actually have the muscle move. So the same reason that you get sore sitting still in a new spot is the reason that you get sore when you're doing a plank in the gym, or if you're gripping something really hard with your hand, even though the muscles in your arm aren't moving, it still makes those muscles sore. Rock climbers will be really familiar with that one. So I hope this answers a little bit better the question of why your muscles can feel sore when you're sitting still all day. It's because you need muscle isotonic, isometric muscle movement in order to control your posture and keep you in a sitting position. For a little bit of extra credit, let's talk about lactic acid because lactic acid gets a bad rap in creating muscle soreness and it actually has very little to do with muscle soreness. So you might remember from high school biology, lactic acid buildup happens in your muscles during times of anaerobic energy generation. That means that when you don't have enough oxygen flowing to your muscle cells, they basically have other ways that they can break down to produce short-term energy. And one of the ways that they break down, a 
produces a byproduct, which is lactic acid. And people always used to say that that was what made your muscles sore. It turns out that that is not at all what makes your muscles sore. Lactic acid produces a burning sensation in your muscles that warns your body to stop working or start providing more oxygen because you can't provide lactic acid to your cells for very long without uh, them starting to break down. The thing that scientists think cause, causes delayed onset muscle soreness, which is that muscle soreness that you feel a couple of days later. That is the breakdown of muscle tissue, damage that you're doing to your muscles while you're working them out. And not a lot is understood about exactly why that happens, but the type of movement is thought to be important. And especially movements where you are lengthening your muscles, those isometric movements are thought to have a lot to do with uh, why your muscles would get sore a day or two later. I hope that this has answered some of your questions about muscle movement and why your muscles feel sore. If you have any other ideas for quarantine science or virus science that you would like to review, please leave them in the comments because I would love to keep making these videos. But that's all for now. Have a nice day.